You're listening to an Influicity podcast. What can we learn from that? You know, 12, 13 years ago, what happened 12, 13 years ago in America with housing prices? What can we learn from that and use as a tool for investing today? Because I bought a lot of properties in 2009, 2010, 2011, and I don't regret that at all. That's one of the best purchases I ever made. Well, and because, and you already alluded to it earlier, if you're someone that sees a pullback, what's perceived by everybody else as a crisis, um, that's when you can potentially move in. I look at it from an investing side of things, and that's exactly Warren Buffett. If everybody's getting out, you get in. And so you did exactly that. When I think back to that housing crisis in 2008, 2009, People were walking away from their homes. They owed more than the current property value. But that was then. Fast forward, this is now. And when you talk 13 years, that's not uh, you know, a really long time horizon. Even when I tell people to get into the markets, ideally, you want to have a five-year time horizon. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to take five years to make money. So if people are getting out of the market, some of them by choice and some of them because of necessity. Um, would you go as far? And I know you're really a conservative person. <laughs> and I, so and I'm a little more aggressive on the investing side, but it's almost hard not to, uh, you know, not to get on board with the idea that this is a good, this is a good time to be buying, whether it's, you know, yeah. in the stock market and possibly some companies and, and the real estate market as well. Absolutely. Buy low, sell high. I'm not going to argue with you on that. 